guys, Shane Stars with DroidForums.net. You know me better as DroidModerX, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install a custom ROM on your Droid Razer HD Developer Edition. Now, it does require you to be unlocked, rooted, and you'll need to have a custom recovery already installed. If you have all of those things taken care of, then you are ready to move forward. If you don't, I'll have links in the description so that you can uh, see how to unlock your bootloader, install custom recovery, and then you'll be ready to move forward. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and power down our device. Now so far, Hashcode has, and Dhacker have developed CyanogenMod 10 for the Razer HD Developer Edition that can be flashed via Clockwork Mod Recovery or Team Win Recovery Project. Um, mm. Both of these are kind of a little wonky for now. We'll go ahead and boot into the recovery. So both volume buttons and the power button. And when the fast boot menu comes up, we're going to go down one and select volume up to enter into recovery. So what I was saying is for now, they're very unofficial and the builds have some bugs. We'll go over those in my, uh, whenever I do my ROM review, we'll go over all the bugs and issues. But today we're just going to kind of focus on how to install a ROM. So obviously the first thing you want to do is go into backup and you'll go ahead and back up your system. Now I already did this, so once it's finished, if you ever need to restore back to your factory ROM, all you have to do is click restore and then your backup will show up automatically. It stores it in the uh, Team Win Recovery Project folder. Same thing with Clockwork Mod Recovery. You want to make sure that you do have a backup so you can return to stock rooted. So once you're done with your backup, you'll go to wipe, factory reset, go ahead and swipe to wipe. Cache, swipe to wipe. And you go back and you can hit Dalvik Cache and swipe to wipe. You'll go back and install. We'll go to install. We're looking for the latest build for the Vanquish. Uh, it is unofficial, and the latest build that they put out was on November 16th, which was three days ago. So we'll go ahead and hit that one. Make sure that is what you're flashing. Swipe to flash. That's going to take a few seconds, or rather a few minutes. And then we'll uh, go ahead and flash the G apps after that. So I'll have links in the description to the ROM and to the G app, so just be looking for those links. They will be in the description as well. This same process will work on any ROM that you flash that is built for the developer version. Okay, as soon as that finishes, you'll see the successful screen. You'll go ahead and select the back button, and then you'll flash your G apps. So the latest G apps are from uh, October 11th for Jelly Bean. Make sure that's what you're flashing. Go ahead and swipe to flash those. And as soon as that finishes, you can go ahead and select Reboot System. Now the first reboot is going to take a while because we did wipe data, so it has to go in there and uh, configure everything, and then it'll boot up. So it may take a little while longer. Don't panic if it doesn't boot right up. Uh, and then if you do have any issues, if it, if it goes 30 minutes or more without booting up, just enter back into recovery the same way we did with both volumes and uh, power button. And then go in there and wipe data, and that should go ahead and boot you into the system. So guys, that has been the installation guide for CyanogenMod 10 on the Droid Razor HD Developer Edition. Uh, be sure to click the like button if this helped you in any way. Hit the subscribe button for more videos like this in the future. Uh, we're going to bring you lots of coverage on the Droid Razor HD, both the Developer Edition and the Consumer Edition. And uh, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the forums.